Hello friends, welcome back. Now let's talk about the comment. So all the comments, uh, you can see in the comments here, all the comments information which you are seeing, it's stored into the comments table. And like comment ID, comment post ID, like which uh, the comment uh, belongs to that particular post ID and what is the comment author, author email, author URL, and there are other uh, fields you can see here, okay? And you, we can also have a comment meta. Currently it's empty. so. For example, if you are extending this comment information for some specific use case and you want to store some comment meta information, that meta information you can display it here. For example, you have modified a default WordPress comment form, you have added some fields and those fields you want to save, then those fields data you can save into the comment meta table, okay, similar to the post meta. There is a WP links, uh, so this is, this table currently is not in use. Uh, the WordPress uh, provides the link uh, higher, uh, like a bookmark functionality in the older versions and for that this table have been used but currently it's not used in the right now. Okay, now let's talk about the users. Okay, we will come later on the term relationship. Okay, first let's see about the user. So in the WordPress, uh, you can add multiple users, you can change the role uh, or administrator, author, contributor, subscriber currently my uh, role my user role is administrator okay and there are some information when you go to the edit you can see first name last name nickname display name email address website and there are some other uh, uh, meta fields or uh, user meta information all this information stored into the uh, users table so in the users table you can see user login which you use for the log, uh, login purpose then uh, your password then user nice name email address your user url when it's user registered and it's display name and some other information like first name last name other information stored into the users meta so first name last name what are the description your biography uh, and you can also have you can a uh, user also have their own a uh, visual editor experience or admin color so if i can change the uh, you can see the changes here right so you can change it here if i change it here and uh, click on update profile it will change the user profile here let me just refresh it so you can change the admin color this ectoplasm okay so uh, all the all the users meta information or the settings of the dashboard settings uh, will be uh, saved here okay so these are the way users and users meta tables uh, are like used to store the users information now let's talk about the terms so here all these tables are terms, terms meta, term taxonomy and term relationship. All these tables are related to the taxonomy. So taxonomies are called a categories and the tags. Okay. So here you can see a categories then tags. So this is the category a taxonomy. This is the tags taxonomy. Okay. So if you go to the terms table, you can see in the terms table, you can only see a name and its slug. So in the, in the categories, you can see here name and the slug. Okay, and it's a parental relationship. So all the terms information of different taxonomies like categories and tags in our case are um, saved into the terms table. Okay, so term ID, name, slug and the term group. So uh, and the term meta table used for saving the terms meta information. For example, if you want to provide some color uh, a category color you want to display in the front end. So you can register a custom meta information for the categories here and when this data is saved, it will be saved into the uh, term meta table. Okay, so term meta table used for the meta information for the terms. Okay, then there is a, a table called WP term underscore taxonomy. So this uh, table used to map uh, the terms and its taxonomy. For example, you can see here the taxonomy category category. Okay, so uh, if you like, let's go through the categories. What is the ID? It's here. It's a, a tag ID two. Okay, so this is the tag ID two. So this is a term ID. Let me also open the other tables into a different table. Uh, this is the terms. Then another table. Also opened another table. We need it for three. Okay, so here in the second table, we will call WP term. So here you can see this a uh, term ID two, which is AC form. Okay, and then you can map it here relationship the term ID two, and it's belong to uh, taxonomy category. So this term, this AC form uh, term created for the categories. Okay, and this is the way the relationship will be uh, used. For example, let's go to the tags. 
and open this this is the uh, 68 tag id okay so in the term taxonomy table i i will just search with the 68 term id and you can see here the taxonomy post tag and its description as well so if you go here here you can see the description as well here this description okay so this description also saved okay so this is the way the terms table have only list of the terms and the term taxonomy table have a relationship of the taxonomy and the terms okay so this way the taxonomy terms used okay now this is the call another table is term relationship so this table used for assigning so when we create a post or uh, update a post we can assign the categories okay so for example this is the block image uh, post and that post have this block category or let me just give a multiple okay so this block category embeds this uh, uh post have this block and media categories assigned and there are a couple of tags also assigned so if i pick up the 1781 is the post id so if i object id is the uh, the uh, object id is used for the post id it's mapped to the post id so i will just here okay now you can see that this is the object id and these are the term taxonomy assigned to that post okay so this term taxonomy ids are belong to this wp term taxonomy id okay and then term id belongs to the wp terms table and this is the way all this information all the tables term terms table are related to each other okay so if we go to the 6 32 89 so i'm just use the term I, uh, term taxonomy id here and let's use the in query okay and uh, for example 6 what are what are the other ones 6 32 89 and a 193 okay 193 so these are the uh, terms so two categories assigned so based on the uh, taxonomy field we can see that these are the term taxonomy belong to this term id and the term uh, taxonomy categories assigned and based on that information in the terms table we can use in query here also um, in query and these are the uh, categories assigned block and media are the two categories because 6 and 32 are categories terms so you can you can see here uh, block embeds have block and media category assigned and this is the content with some different character and embeds uh, assigned so you could, if you can see here term id embeds and content okay so these two uh, terms assigned to that assigned so term wp term relationships table used for storing the relationship between terms and the post okay and these uh, tables are used for any um, any post types okay so for example currently categories and tags already assigned to the post if you are creating a custom post type and then you can uh, you can create a custom taxonomy and assign the taxonomy to that post then those custom taxonomy terms and the relationship with the custom post type will be saved into the these tables okay so this is the overview of an overall database uh, structure of the wordpress when you install the wordpress okay so now in this video like i'm just giving a recap is that we have uh, we have just showed that how the wordpress stored what are the tables available when you do a fresh wordpress installation what are the con what type of content set in different tables okay now after watching this video you can uh, you can uh, browse or you can just explore the database in your local system okay uh, and enjoy wordpress